Hands down the worst Mario Kart. I hate everything about Double Dash. <sighs> I'm making a drink. All right, so obviously I am terrible at Double Dash. I need a drink. I need something to help this pain go away. I need something that's iconic. So why not make a drink for Rainbow Road? But before we get into that, I wanna go on a little bit of a rant here, guys. I am 28 years old and I think Double Dash, not, not just because I'm bad at it, because that sounds like I'm just hating on it. I mean, maybe it is just because I'm bad at it, but I think Double Dash is so overrated in terms of Mario Kart. Like I don't, understand where the hype comes from. It's it's a good concept switching between characters and everything, but all the other Mario Karts have done things so much better. As far as like when you're playing local play, you can only do up to four players. There's no AI in it. It's just not a good Mario Kart game. I mean, maybe for the time it was fun. I mean, I remember as a kid, me and my little brother would just scream at each other when we lose that last final cup. The special cup was rigged. Mario, it wasn't, dude, it wasn't even, I'm just, I'm just gonna go in on this. It wasn't even Rainbow Road that would screw me up. We actually were better at Rainbow Road. It was the dinosaur track in the Special Cup that was just terrible. And therefore, Double Dash is on my list. It's right down there with like, I would put it below Mario Kart 64. I'd say the, the DS version was great. The original DS version, the 3DS one was solid too, but original DS and the top tier is the most recent one on the Switch. So that, that's my rant guys. That's what I think of Mario Kart Double Dash. You suck, you're a classic, but I don't need it. What I need is this Rainbow Road drink. So here's what you're gonna need. So to make this Rainbow Road cocktail, the very first ingredient you're gonna need is a solid white rum. I'm using 10 to one. I'm using the last drops today because this is delicious, but it is worth it in a Mario Kart cocktail. This is 45% proof. It's a little bit stronger than your standard rum, but that's okay because I am using a very weak coconut rum next. So if you're using a full strength coconut rum, you probably can skip using a blend of white rum and coconut rum, but in my opinion, Cruzon is superior. I mean, this is delicious coconut rum. I talk a lot about Malibu being delicious, but that's more so for the clicks and the views. I just like trolling people. Malibu's solid, don't get me wrong, but my true favorite is Cruzon, and my true favorite white rum is 10 to one, so why not mix them together? Call it a day. Next up, we're gonna need a little bit of peach schnapps, orange bitters, and that's where we're gonna cool it on the booze. As hard of a track as Rainbow Road is, th this is all the booze we need. Now we need our mixers. We're gonna grab my favorite white peach Calpico. And then finally, the last ingredient is gonna be just a little bit of cream of coconut. This is my favorite creamy coconut flavor. As great as the coconut rum is, it doesn't actually bring that creaminess. The only way you're gonna get that is with a nice creamy Coco Lopez. So let's do this. All right, so we're coming out swinging. It is. It's Rainbow Road, so let's start off with an ounce and a half of white rum. Remember, mine's a little bit stronger. You could go with two ounces if you really wanted to, but it might be easier just to do the uh, coconut rum. So dump that in there. Next, we'll be doing an ounce and a half of coconut rum. All right, also, I wanna talk about the elephant in the room. I don't know, I don't know, actually. You guys probably don't see it, I think. Ivan, my camera guy, I think he cuts it out a lot of times. What are you supposed to do when you have a wet jigger and you, you need to use the other side? Like, are, I just use a paper towel. Is there like a professional way to do this? When I was bartending, we just did whatever, washed it real quick. But every time I just go and I grab a paper towel and I feel like it's really unprofessional, but I don't see what anyone else does online. I just wanna know, that, that's all. W what is everyone else doing? I wanna be like them. I wanna be one of the cool kids, but. Until then, I am stuck drying this out awkwardly. Let's add in that one ounce of peach schnapps. Next, we'll do three dashes of orange bitters. All right, so this is the best ingredient in here. It's better than the coconut rum. It's better than the cream of coconut. This white peach Galpico is amazing. It's like a super juicy and refreshing take on white peach. And if you can't find it, look in the international aisle. If you can't find it there, go on Amazon. It is worth it, I, I promise. It is one of the best drinks you could drink out there. My only complaint is that they don't have a sugar-free version, but other than that, delicious. Go ahead and dump two ounces of our white peach Calpico in. And finally, let's crack open our coconut cream, cream of coconut. I specifically use Coco Lopez. That is the best brand and it's cheap. So get a nice scoop of that, depending on how much you love coconut. I personally could drink, I could I could eat this like ice cream. Um, I, think it would, I think it would screw up my system though, but. Mm, 
Mm, mm, mm. Finally, let's crack in a little bit of ice. And I thought it'd be funny to use a little ice ball because I felt like that had something to do with Mario Kart. And then in my head, I realized the item boxes are literally boxes. So I don't know, I don't know why I grabbed a sphere, but here we are. Let's see if I can crack some in here. All right, there we go. Let's slowly lower that bad boy in. Enough of that. Let's shake it up. Really, really random, but I want to talk about one of my mutuals on TikTok. His name is The Drunken Fist. Makes a lot of really cool pop culture drinks, just like me. He just posted a video where he was shaking his drinks, and he he's serious about it. Like he he's shaking that stuff, and it's 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 intense. And I just don't have that intensity. But someone was like, "Dude, why do you shake your drinks like that? It looks it looks awkward and painful." And he was like, "Well, it's not." But secondly, when you shake horizontally vigorously, it's the best way to emulsify a cocktail. And I don't think it's that serious. I think you could shake this thing side to side, up and down. I don't think horizontally versus vertically is gonna change the way my drink tastes. People are wild out here and I'm talking trash for no reason, but that's, that's, that's what I'm about. I'm a trash talker, guys. So now that we've shaken the cocktail, it's time to move on and it's time to stop talking trash. You're gonna need your sour strips because sour strips are delicious and they're also rainbows. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a sour strip. We're gonna, we're gonna quality control these. Sometimes they don't taste that good. You gotta make sure they're perfect. Mm, I'll be honest with you guys. Airheads rainbow strips are better. Get the Airhead one. They're better. They're, the texture's better. Flavor's better. Airheads did it better. Sorry, sour strips. You, you, normally, you normally have a win, but not today, buddies. Okay, so now we're not gonna completely fill it with ice yet. We wanna kinda get that Rainbow Road vibe to it. So we're gonna slowly layer these in here. And you can't do that if the glass is already filled with ice. Let's pour this bad boy out and try our delicious Rainbow Road drink. There we are. Not 100% done yet, guys. We still have one more very special and exciting ingredient, another sour strip, because why not? And so I kind of like to twist up the garnish. I want it to look like Rainbow Road, right? So why not twist it up, make it look all crazy, just like Rainbow Road truly does. That looks wild. That looks like Rainbow Road. Cheers to the Rainbow Road cocktail and all the citric acid on my table. Mm. Using a quality white rum truly changes this drink. I think if you're gonna use something a little bit cheaper, it's not, it's gonna be harsher. Whereas this just tastes delicious. It's creamy, it's fruity, it's coconutty, and it's just so, so refreshing. I think that's my favorite. I love the fact that there is four ounces of alcohol in here to, you know, two ounces of juice and some cream, and it tastes perfectly balanced. It doesn't taste overly strong. It's Rainbow Road, it's kind of gonna sneak up on you like Rainbow Road tends to do. I feel like I hype myself up every time I'm gonna do that track and still struggle, unless it's a new Mario Kart, which I'm amazing at. But this is really refreshing. I mean, and look at, we got like the little sour strips hiding in there, just like Rainbow Road goes in all crazy ways. I think this drink is a solid nine and a half out of 10 for me. I just think it's so creamy and refreshing. I love the appearance. That peachiness is just, it's not overwhelming and neither is the coconut. I know people don't love coconut like I do. I would eat and drink coconut for the rest of my life. But even if you don't like coconut, you're gonna enjoy this drink. I truly believe that. Other than that, I mean, it's a fun, fun, beautiful drink, easy for parties. Make a whole batch of that. You're good to go. A Rainbow Road Jungle Juice, who doesn't want some of that? Freeze some sour strips in the ice cubes, throw them in. You gotta win right there. So that is my Rainbow Road cocktail. That's amazing. I wonder if this is gonna make me any better at Mario Kart. I'll chug this and we're gonna do Rainbow Road. We'll see what happens. All right guys, I got my Rainbow Road in hand. I just came in first on Bowser's Castle. I'm going into Rainbow Road sitting in fifth, but I could realistically take first. I am ready to crush this course. 